Brad has returned from Rosewood with a new vehicle which is stuffed full of loot and perhaps most importantly one of these guys. Now after a week of constant fighting Brad now needs a break. It's time to finish the base. So Brad has been home a few days already and you can see there has been some progress. The shelves are full of gear there's no bags. Now Brad's gone about halfway through sorting out this huge absolutely huge arsenal of guns and ammo that he's got i mean look at the amount of further shotgun shells there he started to sort of sort it out into types pistols shotguns blunt weapons and bladed weapons and i gotta say it is a massive amount of gear just goes to show the success that brad has got but there is still a lot of work a lot of additional work to do to the base this here, it, Brad's got this vision of this being a gym. All we've got is a mirror at the moment. There's a lot of space. We need to fill it with exercise equipment. Brad needs to have this entertainment in place to pass the time. And also, there's a lot of work to be remodeling upstairs. And so eventually, Brad is going to have to go furniture shopping again. He's got a whole town to choose from. But first, let's finish unloading the truck. Okay, well there we go. That is the gym pretty much complete. Of course, we've got to have more mirrors for the walls uh, But it's time to move on. I think that is really looking good. I hope you agree now look There's still I mean the shelves are looking full right and there's still gear to be unloaded So next up Brad is gonna have to scour uh, Ekron for what remains of any more of these uh, shelves What have we got? We probably need uh, one, two, three, probably potentially as many as seven. Uh, so let's let's get to it. Okay, we've moved on to uh, EP tools, and you would have thought there'd be some metal showering, but it looks like somebody's already been here and taken it. Now I wonder who that could possibly be. Let's move on. Okay, here we are. Now it looks like it's going to take quite a long time to find uh, the storage options that Brad wants. Where's the nearest Ikea when you need one? This is one. We kind of need another six. Ooh. Well, there's three. So we're kind of halfway there. Okay. And we've also... Brad also wants to upgrade, update his laundry room. So we need some sort of storage for all that clothing. And then also Brad will want to grab um, a washing machine as well. Let's get back this back in the van. Let's move a little bit closer. Uh, and then we'll grab those metal shelves and hopefully we don't have to spend too much time looking for all of the other things that Brad wants. Okay, so Brad has grabbed those uh, three large metal shelves and I've got a feeling he's going to find it difficult to find uh, another four in Ekron. He doesn't have to want to travel uh, too far afield to uh, find what he needs. So we're just going to go with these, maybe something a little bit different. Uh, will be some nice variety and they've got the same sort of storage and they look nice back to back uh, so we're just going to grab uh, three of these maybe four now let's take four and then we've got a whole row uh, and then we'll get all this back to base and get it all installed and I think it's going to look absolutely spot on okay well Brad has been at it hard all day he's very very tired it is the wee hours of the morning there's still a bit of work to be done. There's still some more storage to be obtained there. Maybe we can find some more of these somewhere at some point. The Gigamart is the most likely, but look at that. It's a thing of beauty. We still need more of these um, crates for here. I do like things to be uniform, so I'm trying my best to ignore the differences in the gaps, but it is what it is, and of course, now we've got to fill these shelves. Now we've got to fill these shelves with gear and loot. But for now, Brad is absolutely exhausted. Let's get him to bed. And then tomorrow we head out looking for uh, a washing machine. How exciting is that? Okay, it is the next morning. What is it? July the 24th. Brad is just having his breakfast. Cold vegetable soup. 
Now one big milestone in getting this base really habitable and really feeling like it's a nice place to be is running water. As you can see, Brad just filled up his canteen. We got two rain collector valves. Wow, we could really actually do with some rain because one is getting a little bit empty. But there is another thing that Brad wants to now add and that is more plumbing, that is more water. This is going to be the sort of laundry room. It is not something that is absolutely essential for surviving the zombie apocalypse. But you want your home comforts, your creature comforts, and I'd say clean clothes. That'd be kind of nice. So Brad's going to return to the residential area. We're going to get in a, a washing machine, a tumble dryer. Actually, let's just check the space. What do we got? We got, we want the, maybe a sink there and then the washing machine there. We don't really need the dryer, but we're going to put it there for looks anyway. And then we got enough room for uh, two or three cabinets. Uh, so let's jump in the McCoy's van. Let's go back to the residential area and see what we can find. Okay, well, Brad is back on the far side of the map to this two-story home. He vaguely remembers that there was a washroom here and there is a welcoming committee. But we've just driven across the whole of town. This is the only zombie, the only zombie we've seen. That was the cue to get bitten on the ass then, wasn't it? But no, we're fine. So, uh, yeah, we'll go in here, get the washing machine, the tumble dryer, any sort of cabinets or containers or any furniture. Oh no, this is the place where Brad disassembled them all. No, oh, there it is. We've got the washing machine. We don't need a tumble dryer. We don't want to spend ages searching around different locations for something that Brad doesn't even need. So let's grab this, uh, get this in the back of the van, and then we'll check out the, the couple of the nearest houses, see if we can get um, enough uh, containers, and then we'll head straight back and get put it all in place. Okay, we'll check out Brad's latest upgrade to this survival life. The trailer, it looks awesome, does it not? Now that is uh, gonna give Brad some really nice, just think about where to put it, some really nice extra storage for those epic loot runs that he's obviously gonna carry on doing. Uh, let's just leave it there. Uh, so Brad's grabbed a couple of oak counters and uh, that washing machine is actually a washer, tumble dryer. I know it's pretty exciting. So we'll get that put in and then we'll, we need to find a wrench so we can get a sink and do the plumbing that we need to do and then we'll head back, pick up a few more bits and then that should be the laundry washroom stroke tailoring, tailoring room pretty much completely done and then we can move on to the next thing. Okay, well Brad has returned back to the neighborhood and looky looky what we found here. This is a rare sight at Ekron now, but you know what it's like. There is always another zombie now. This is possible, but Brad has not even been here before. Yes, look at that, that is awesome. So there's a couple of houses that Brad somehow missed, uh, clearing out Ekron. Let's just have that soup now. Brad is still losing weight. He's now down to 64 kilograms. He's just wasting away. The amount of food he has to put away just to keep going is insane. Five or six cans of food a day and he's still losing weight but this is exactly what brad needed a couple more oak counters and that chrome sink so let's grab these and get these put back in base or maybe not okay well there you go that looks like a much better space there is still some finishing touches to be added plumbing in this sink and this washing machine but brad will be able to actually now and again at least wear some clothes that aren't absolutely covered entirely in blood and we've got a lot of storage here now this could also we're going to put all the sort of tailoring stuff in there so i'm sure it's eventually brad will get up to some tailoring stuff but he's super super tired we're going to leave the uh, bit on the stairs and uh, getting some rain collector barrels put in until tomorrow it's a big job it's going to have to cut down a lot of trees get a lot of planks but first need some sleep Okay, well it is bright and early, it's barely dawn and Brad is already up ready for a full day's work. Now first things first though, he's got to make some something a little bit more filling uh, food wise. So we're going to grab uh, one of these cooking pots and I think we've got some rice, maybe some pasta. We'll make a massive rice deal that'll keep him going all day and maybe Brad can finally, finally start putting on weight. Now Brad, when he returned from his rosewood uh, road trip 
he there was a lot of crops to um, harvest so he's got a lot of cabbages he's got a lot of carrots I mean would you look at that and a lot of tomatoes it's not gonna fill him up it's not gonna have him put on weight but it is gonna make him feel better he's gonna feel good and uh, let's see what Brad can create we got some rice let's try some rice okay well that is a delicious meal put together by Brad he's thrown absolutely everything in this it's got pepper tomato paste marinara hot sauce beans lentils tomatoes and carrots vegetable and black bean rice not the actual biggest hunger let's make a couple of bowls that should keep brad keep keep him going all day now one thing that brad did find in rosewood as well which he didn't have already was a wood axe now that is going to help him be a lot more effective at cutting down those trees he's got a lot of work to do he needs 15 planks for some stairs he needs another 12 planks uh, for the three rain collector barrels they need three maybe even four rain collector barrels plumbed in uh, to that sink and that to wash a dryer that's a lot of work let's get to it okay it is time for brad to get swinging and he's 23 planks no wait 20 we want 15 for the stairs and then we want four rain collector barrels so that's, that's actually 31 and that's three Ooh, we need pulling. Let's just cut down as many trees as we can. Okay, so Brad's now got enough planks to build the stairs. And now what the Brad plan is four rain collector bars. There's the sink. There's going to be one there and one there. That'll guarantee two uh, for the sink. Uh, and then one there and one there. And that will be at least two. Uh, for the washer dryer, I and mean, I think maybe the one in the sort of middle will, will potentially service too. Okay, well the stairs are up, but Brad forgot to factor in the four planks he'd need for the flooring. I think we got the position of the stairs spot on, and we've got enough. Oh, that's the flooring that we need for the four rain collector barrels. Still need another 16 planks, so we're gonna have to get that wood axe out again. Now, do we have enough? There's only 10 bags there, so hopefully we can find another six, but I'm not entirely confident. Okay, well that's all the rain collector barrels that Brad can put in for now. Let's put all the planks and the garbage bags down. Wouldn't it, how bad it would be if a zombie just came up those stairs right now and it was all over right there and then. That would, that would be tough to take. But Brad's been cutting down trees, making a lot of noise, doing a lot of banging. And no zombies come to say hi. So I don't think there's a zombie literally for miles around. Which quite right too, considering the amount of zombies that Brad has had to kill. Let's see if we can find some more garbage bags. Okay, well Brad has searched high and low for um, any more garbage bags. He hasn't got a single one. So bizarrely, after three or four months of survival, he's going to have to try and find six garbage bags shouldn't be too difficult but there's the washer dryer plumbed in and the sink we've only got uh, two rain collector bars but they're positioned uh, here and here so that should be enough to actually be able to use them if and when it rains but somewhat ironically Brad is thirsty so let's just fill up the canteen here but we could actually do with some rain because the crops probably need water in and we want those rain collector barrels filled up uh, but look, get a look at the size of that plum that pipe wrench absolutely crazy uh, the next thing Brad wants to do is tidy up the garden okay well this garden is a complete mess but what Brad wants to do he wants to create a clear border it only, it's only a visual thing it's completely meaningless uh, but he wants to create a border between his base and the rest of the world the rest of the shit world that there is so that means everything tied is going to be tidied up all the way around this property to this border to this path to this edge it's a lot of work but is it worth it probably not but it, i think it'll look really good when it's done so let's get on with it you know what i'm thinking as brad slowly but surely does this this game needs a lawnmower i mean Obviously, in some ways, it doesn't. 
<laughs> but that's, you don't play Project Zomboid survival game to lawn, to mow the grass. But, you know, maybe you want to. Okay, well, Brad has been at it all afternoon. The guy is so tired he could sleep where he stands. We've nearly finished now, and I think as you can see, it looks a lot better visually. Now, there's a little bit more around the back to do. There's some vines to remove as well, but that is the grass looking pucker. Absolutely pucker. Okay, well, Brad really, really does need his bed, but with just one last little job before another day is done. There's still so much to do, but let's just remove these wall vines and then we'll just quickly run through what Brad is going to do next. Now, we're going to remove all of these planks on the windows and we're going to replace any broken windows. We're slowly transforming this place from looking like some sort of war zone to a place where Brad could live out the rest of his days in relative peace and quiet and maybe even safety. Uh, we're going to actually put a doorway on the back as well. Uh, but um, And then we're going to get the sledgehammer out and we're going to re remodel upstairs. There's too many walls. It's too dark and dingy. We're going to open that up. Okay, next morning. It is now July the 26th and the days are absolutely just flying by Brad is really let's have a smoke let's just have a smoke we'll have a smoke for breakfast it is raining outside which is absolutely brilliant wow wow would you look at that hairstyle oh my god he looks like something from dumb and dumber let's get that sorted out the Donnie haircut it's just it's the worst and I've totally totally forgot what I was saying um, yeah, there's still a lot for Brad to. First things first, we're going to remove the planks from all the windows and um, then that will be able to see exactly how many windows are broken and need replacing. Um, and then I guess that means heading off into town again to find some more gear for, well, Brad's home. It's not a base anymore, it's his home. Okay, well, Brad's unbarricaded a couple of windows and you know what? Yeah, it looks nice with all the grass, but we want to make this a proper sort of territory, right? So we're going to build some fences. Uh, we're probably going to regret it halfway through because uh, it's going to be a massive, massive job. But we're going to build some fences all the way along the edge of this grass. Really mark out this area, this building, this place as Brad's has his home. Okay, so Brad has un removed all the barricades from the outside of the windows. He's going to leave the ones on the inside for now, as he doesn't want any nasty surprises. And he's repurposing the planks from those windows straight away for fences. You can see, yeah, that's going to be quite a perimeter, but uh, Brad's committed now. But he needs three replacement windows, so it's time to grab a crowbar and head on back into town and get those and get those put in and then we can remove all the barricades and then that just be another little uh, sort of visual improvement on Brad's home. Well Brad was just about to drive off back into town and then he noticed that uh, yeah right across the way in the church there's the exact windows he needs. Now he just needs a little bit of a chance, a little bit of luck. There's a 25% chance for the windows to break. But he needs three, so the odds are against him, I think. Ooh, okay, well, there's one. Two more to go. Okay, well, things didn't go too badly. There were only three uh, windows of the church, and Brad managed to get two in tapped wooden windows. Now, he does actually need four, so he's going to have to go into town after all just to find those two last ones. But you can see, it just looks a lot better, doesn't it? Removing those barricades... As I said, it just looks a little bit less like a war zone, but you may notice a slight red hue. And the rain is still coming down, which that's great for the crops, great for the rain collector barrels, but it is an anomalous storm. It is not safe for Brad to go outside. Let's just pick up that glass. So we're going to grab the sledgehammer. Um, well, no, we're not. We're not going to grab the sledgehammer because... Now that is outside in the van and I think even just a few moments uh, out in this massive rain could potentially really be bad for Brad. So you know what, he's going to 
uh, continue extending his uh, carpentry education. We, we need to read the next carpentry book before we can do uh, any more carpentry. Otherwise, Brad's going to miss out on some valuable XP. Let's just drop all those there. And let's grab a few beers and some snacks. And uh, let's uh, chill out upstairs, learning a little bit more about carpentry. So again, the anomalous storm lasted about four hours. They're pretty regular like clockwork now. And, um, but Brad didn't uh, go back out into town. He decided to complete reading all of the carpentry volume four. He is now an expert. Um, but let's grab some bits of food and let's head on into town and grab those last two windows. Uh, and then we're gonna get that sledgehammer, knock down some walls. Okay, well finally that is all the broken windows replaced, all the barricades removed. It looks so much better. It looks so much, well not safer, but just nicer, doesn't it? And now we've had some rainfall as well. So yeah, we've got water there. Brad can also wash his clothes, obviously very important. It's now time to grab the sledgehammer from the van outside and knock down some walls upstairs. Brad really wants to open it up. It is dark and dingy up there. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. It's just dark and dingy. So we're just gonna knock down all of these walls, really open it up. But then, let's just hope we don't put any holes in the floor. That would be kind of annoying. Uh, and then we're just gonna build a wall. Uh, let me just show you. Yeah, we're just gonna knock down all of these walls here and probably this one here and just build a wall across here and just open all of this out okay so that is all of these walls knocked down you can see it's just you know, there's no reason why it should be dark here maybe we'll get a couple of lights and put one on this wall maybe that will make the difference now brad is probably just gonna put a wall along here to cordon it off uh, i'm not quite sure what to do after that but we definitely definitely I uh, want to put a hole in this wall so that when Brad comes up the stairs, he can just walk right on through. And man, we need some lights for this area. We need a lot more lights in here, that is for sure. There's two or three of these on the outside on the church, so maybe some strategically placed lighting is all that Brad needs. But you can see, this, sh this shouldn't be dark, right? This should not be dark. Okay, so Brad has grabbed those couple of lights uh, from the outside of the church. That lights up the room nicely. Now, I think what I'm going to do here, as I said, just put the wall um, hmm, all the way across here, I think. It's just a few less tiles. And then if the opportunity arises, Brad is going to grab uh, some arcade machines. This could be a nice little gaming area. Now, we've put a light on here. Uh, but you still got this this crazy sort of yeah black area now it's possible that we might have to just lift up all the carpet and put it back down but who's got the time for that who's got the time for that uh, next up it's getting that boundary properly uh, put in place for outside it's going to be a lot of work but it's going to be some good carpentry xp so let's grab the wood axe in fact let's just you know what, we've got enough planks here. Let's see if we can put that wall in place upstairs. Finish the job, Brad, finish the job. Okay, but it's, it has been another physically exhausting day for Brad, but he's got a lot done. There we are, this is gonna be the arcade room. All it needs is some arcade machines. Bit of a bit of a missing link there at the moment, but uh, that's a lot of work done. He's absolutely exhausted again. Brad could uh, just fall asleep right where he stands. Let's get him to bed and then we go again tomorrow. Okay, next morning, July 28th. Man, the days really are just flying by. Brad is going to be looking to build that fence all around his property, his home today. It's going to be a lot of physical hard work. So again, he's preparing himself a hearty meal that is going to keep him going all day. It's going to be another physically tough day for Brad but he's almost there now okay so Brad has once again got his wood axe in hand he should probably save his strength there you can see the scale of the job that is ahead of him 
but hopefully it won't be too bad because every fence panel that only takes two planks so hopefully in no time at all Brad will have this fence put up well it's been a couple of days and Brad has been hard at it the whole time it has been hard work but it has been good honest work Brad has not seen a zombie the whole time just peace and quiet just a guy with his trusted tools putting into practice the skills that he's learned that he's taught himself but we've come across an insurmountable problem we've just got this corner to do everything else is done and brad's run out of nails brad has run out of nails and he, he did actually find two more bags of loot that he hadn't unloaded from uh, the military vehicle that he's left standing for several weeks now uh, but nothing no boxes of nails so it's crazy but brad's got more boxes of shotgun shells than boxes of nails so completion of that fence is gonna have to wait for another day another adventure another time but it is looking good it is a shame that at carpentry level six brad still can't figure out how to build a good looking fence and a good looking wall but it is what it is that is gonna have to be it for today's episode now brad he's got a lot of work done around the base he's got a lot of fresh water maybe you should plant some more crops because this guy's appetite is unbelievable he eats enough food for like a family of four but that is gonna have to be it as i said i hope you guys have enjoyed the series it kind of feels like this is the end of the adventure for brad he's got a peaceful safe space for him to just basically retire from the zomboid uh, struggle the struggle to survive but i kind of feel like there should be one more adventure for brad he yet to decide exactly what that is but just one more chance for brad to stick it to the zombie hordes before he just sees out the rest of his days in peace and quiet so i hope you guys will join me for that final last episode of this series but for now that is going to have to be all peace <laughs>